discuss the maybe to clear the air on, on his, his his past relationship with mm -hmm. uh, with Farrakhan. But I think he wanted to you know wake most Americans up. I mean, this is a, a continual war. If you go back to every president, let's see, you had first of all Obama continued Bush's program. Now mm -hmm. he bombs um, Libya. Libya. Mm -hmm. You had Bush Jr. Uh, mm -hmm. we, that's Afghanistan and Iraq. Mm -hmm. Then we had Clinton. Mm -hmm. You know, he we, we, he had the stuff over mm -hmm. in Somalia. We don't know how many places he bombed. Right, right, right. Then right. you go back to Bush, uh, Bush Senior. Mm -hmm. He's the one that started the war with uh, that, that created the war with Iran and uh, 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 Iraq. Knocked mm -hmm. both of gave them both weapons, mm -hmm. and finally went to war with Saddam. That that's Reagan, and then we come all the way back to uh, 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 Peanut. So, so you got five or six presidents. Everybody's mm -hmm. going to war, mm -hmm. and mostly it's in the Middle East, primarily. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they carry, uh, you know, so. They know where the resources are that that control mm -hmm. the planet. That, that that's that's a reason that it, they call oil black gold. Mm -hmm. It's called black gold because you know when George Herbert Bush was president, he was, I mean he, when he was in the Senate, he made the decisive vote to give Iraq the gas to go at Iran. Oh, that's exactly I right. Mean, he made the decisive vote, and people forgot that he did that. Oh yeah, they and, uh, matter of fact, they mm -hmm. armed Iraq mm -hmm. and they armed Iran, and they stirred these two nations right. up to go in to go to war because uh, after the war, they both were weakened mm -hmm. enough whereby they could walk in and take them. Prior to that mm -hmm. time, they'd have been little, we could have beat them, but I think uh, it'd been very difficult. The, the, the mm -hmm. body bags would have been too great. Mm. So they both we weaken both Iraq and Iran because remember when you start talking about I think Iraq has the Iraq has the third or fourth largest gold reserve. You got mm. Iran, you got mm. Libya. Those are the top five or top six uh, nations in the world with huge oil reserves. No, no. Obama said he he confiscated thirty three billion dollars worth of uh, uh, Gaddafi's assets and money here. Uh, you just said that he had 143 tons of gold. Gold in his country. In his country. Now that's that's what they say that they know about. Oh yeah, they that's really what they really don't know how much he really has. Exactly. That's, that's but, they, they... but they're, they're claiming he has 143 tons. Now, what I know you do, and you've been preaching this gold and silver for the last 10 years that I know. I've been watching you on cable. Do what? What is the financial situation that's about to come down? Well, the, in America, in America, what's happening is the people that this is years ago, people we go back 25, 30 years. And what happened was they began to ship most of the jobs out of the country and, and, and mainly to Mexico and mainly China. China has the largest uh, um, industrial that we gave them. We gave them all the technology because they the average Chinese is working a dollar and a half a day. He's slaves. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that this dollar, we, the, the Chinese have, have built up such a large. See, if you don't produce anything. How can you have a nation you don't produce anything? Mm -hmm. And we buy everything from the Chinese. If, if you could, if you if you could become a billionaire by not producing Jamaica and all these mm -hmm. uh, islands down these, these uh, uh, tourist islands down mm -hmm. in Jamaica, they should be teeming with bought that billionaires. Mm -hmm. But they don't. They have no manufacturing capacity. Any right. modern nation has to make some right, right. food or something. Right. Well, what happened was we shipped that stuff out of here, and then they became uh, uh, an industrial giant, and we've been we've been uh, as a result devastated. Now our money, this stuff is paper. Mm -hmm. That's why gold is almost fourteen, over fifth, almost fifteen hundred dollars. Silver is almost forty dollars an ounce. And we told you at, at three hundred dollars to buy gold, and at, at five or six, four or five dollars to buy silver. When real estate was gone, my point is this dollar, as you as you know it to be, will cease to exist within the next two. I'd say within the next administration. And if Obama gets in again, this is serious consequences, folks. Money, when people start losing uh, uh, their, uh, you know, what I'm saying is that this eventually will be devalued. And what I mean by devalued, let me explain something to you. You think you're paying five, four, uh, can you imagine paying $10 for gasoline, mm -hmm. uh, 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 $10 for a loaf of bread? Because this becomes of no value. This, this, this has no value. There's a book in Germany called When Money Dies. Uh, 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 it gives you a good example sociologically what happens when people when this becomes of no value people really lose it because they will do anything to to try to get it and if you if you don't have any farming capability of being able to grow food or uh, something uh, 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 you'll find out that your life is uh, is one hell of a situation because you can food will become so expensive that it would be impossible. Now let me say this, that, that is what happened in Egypt, that's what happened in most of those Middle Eastern countries. They were playing those, the, these uh, 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 countries were paying their citizens mere pennies. Mm -hmm. So when the food doubled 
as a result, see what happened was when the dollar lost its value, people with money decided to buy the commodities. They bought oil, they bought sugar, they bought, bought just anything. Mm -hmm. So what happened, food, grain, corn just went through the ceiling. So the average person in Egypt that's making $5 a day or $5 a week, his food bill just doubled. Mm -hmm. Well, he could only feed himself, let alone mm -hmm. his family. He said, wait a minute, this, 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 this can't go on. They just snapped. Mm -hmm. They said most of the fruit vendors were making 7 to $10 a day. And, and in Tunisia, and how it got kicked off was that the Tunisian government was so corrupt, they would take these guys' scales and then make them go back to City Hall and buy it back. Exactly. And that's how this, this, this one guy set himself on fire because he was tired exactly. of buying his scale back, he said, for the third time. Exactly. And, and the scale cost upwards of $100. Exactly. And so it, w what you're saying, the last time uh, silver peaked I think in the 80s at about $50. Exactly, $50. And then it, then it shot back down. It shot back uh, down. That's the Hunt it, brothers ended up controlling it. Controlling the silver. Now, this boy, Soros, does he control most of the gold? Soros is a, a, a Hungarian Jew. He is one of the insiders. Uh, 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 well, he has moved into the gold market. He's one of the players, not mm -hmm. major players. He's one of the players. There's many players in there that's playing with this stuff. But I'm going to tell you, they know, as uh, if you read, just put in Google, source what he says about the dollar. He says it's over with. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time. Whether I, mm -hmm. I don't think it'll happen. I think it'll happen in the next administration, mm -hmm. whether it be Obama or whoever. They will have a banking holiday. They will divide the dollar. So in other words, they'll tell you, well, listen, whatever t you get 10 for one. In other mm -hmm. words, if you got $10,000 in the bank, you, you got $1,000 of the new money. And, mm -hmm. and, and food and everything will just go crazy as folks will be unable to uh, uh, provide for themselves as they totally uh, 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 has devalued the country. You can go to Jamaica. Anybody that's got the third world has lived through that. They can tell you America has never lived through a, a major meltdown. But what they want to do is basically reconfigurate this stuff where everything is all joined together and they control the whole show now. So what do you see except gold? For, except for China and Russia. Where, where do you see gold peaking at in the I next think, two years? Uh, I would say gold... Well, put it this way, it's going to go further than we think because the mm -hmm. folks are not. Well, let me say this. The Federal Reserve Bank is the bank that creates the money and the credit, and they actually has destroyed the dollar. That's the reason why we got off the gold standard. But to make a long story short, uh, that's that bank, that Federal Reserve Bank, is owned by banks. In other words, when they save Wall Street, the Wall Street had interest in the Federal Reserve, so they saved save the Wall Street, but they didn't save Main Street. These That's the reason why the, everything collapsed. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen, where gold is going to go, what, what's happening with people that's got money. They're buying, they're buying commodities, sugar, uh, 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 oil, gold, silver, just anything that will keep its purchasing power. That's the reason why, you know, uh, to give you an example of what I'm talking about today is, uh, let me say this, gold will eventually go to, I'd say in two years, at least $2,500, and it'll probably top out somewhere between seven and 10, and still will probably go somewhere between five and maybe 12. So I'd, I'd say maybe seven, eight dollars an ounce, but you'll be paying for a loaf of bread, maybe eight, $10. People say, I can't believe that. Well, well listen, we told you that you, you never